Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can edit, visualize and segment Bicom files and Nifty files using 3D Slicer and ITK Snap. So let's start by 3D Slicer. So the first thing that we need to do is to import a Nifty file. So to do that, we can. There are two options. The first one is by clicking here and click on Choose File to Add, and then let's choose the Nifty file. For example, this uh, volume here. Then press OK. And after that, let me just put it here. Then OK. So now you can see that this is the volume that we have imported and we have the multiple slices we have the multiple views the orientation the sagittal and the coronal and that is so if and then in the other option let me just close the scene the other option to open a nft file which is by drag and drop this is the easiest uh, way to open a nft file so we can just drag it and drop it here then click ok so this is the same volume as you can see now let me show you how you can import DICOM series. So before that, we need to close the scene and then let's click on data. But here, instead of choosing one file, we need to choose directory because we have multiple DICOMs. So let's click here and go to this folder and select it because this folder for me contains, let me show you, this folder contains 518 slices, which are DICOM files. Then press OK. So here the same patient, the same slices. So now let's go to the next step, which is doing the segmentation. Okay. So for example, let's say we want to segment the liver. So let's go here in segmentations. And since we don't have any segmentation file, then we need to create one. So create new segmentation. And now we have a segmentation file, but we don't have any layer or mask. So to do that, we just need to press on Add Segment. And now let's start doing the segmentation. To do so, we need to go here. And you see here we have multiple options that we can use. So for me, I will use the easiest one, the paint here. And you can adjust uh, the diameter of the pen. So let me put it, for example, 2%. And now let's start doing the segmentation. You just need to press and drag the mouse here and everything will be completed something like this let me complete it here and you do the same thing for the other slices something like this okay so you need to complete everything for the whole volume and don't worry about these two uh, other orientations because when you complete one orientation everything will be set for the three of them because it is a volume so it will be duplicated for everything and you can even see here that we have two lines here meaning that we completed two uh, we have we completed two uh, slices in the axial as you can see here so when we complete slices in the axial it will be built here slice by slice until completing all the volume okay and now if you want to export it you just need to click on the green arrow <coughs> and go until here to the export options not this one yeah this one here so the first thing that you need to do is to choose the directory where you want to put your volume for example i will keep it here then here this is very important you need always to choose your reference volume because if you don't choose uh, the reference volume this file or the segmentation file that will be created it won't contain the same number of slices as your icons or as your uh, ct scan because if you just keep it like this it will create uh, a nifty file containing only the slices that's having this mask so for us for example if i save this file without choosing the reference volume if i keep it as none it will create a nifty file containing only two slices because we have only two slices here so if you want to overlay the segmentation on the volume you cannot since you don't have the same number of slices but if you choose here the reference volume as this one so like this you will get the same number of slices for the 
dicoms or for the case and for the segmentations okay and then here for the file format there are multiple options so let's choose for example nifty and then click on export if you click on export you will export it and you can, uh, the file can be used after that so this is how we do the segmentation or the annotation uh, for the nifties and icons it is the same thing you just need to import the nifty and icon and you can do it with this slicer and after that you can choose multiple uh, file formats that you uh, you need for your project and you can uh, just export the file and use it now let's do the same thing using itk snap and for example let's see how to import a nifty file so here both of them we need only to drag and drop so for the nifty file you can drag and drop it here you can see that it is imported and the same thing as 3d slicer we have three uh, viewers for the actual coronal and sagittal and this screen here is for the 3d rendering okay now let me show you how you can import the dicoms for example just to take an idea so you just go to this folder containing the dicoms you don't need to import all of them but you need to import only one drag it and drop it here and you see that the uh, software will see directly that there are 518 dicom files at the same folder so it will be uh, imported uh, automatically you don't need to add the other files so then click on next then finish so here your uh, your case opened here if i go here so you have the actual column and sagittal now let's say you want to do the segmentation of the lever the same thing here so you will see that it is very easy and user friendly and i, I prefer using it than 3d slicer but it depends to you and of course this uh, software may uh, contain less tools than 3d slicer but it depends to your project and what you want to do and you can choose any software you want so let's choose for example here the brush to to do the segmentation now let's increase a little bit the brush size and let's say let's take it as circle and let's do for example this first slice like this and you can control the opacity for example like this or like this or anything you want if you want to see the edges for example you can like keep it like this or it depends to what you are trying to segment and there is another option that i like most of the time so which is this one 3d brush so if you click on this option and let's say i go here and do this slice because you see that it is the same thing if you do one slice it will be done like this and you need to do the other slices but if we choose this 3d brush so you can do like this and let's complete or continue so now i continue i completed one slice but you will see that in multiple slices multiple neighbor slices be before and after that slice that i have done there are these segmentations so if you go for example here and you just complete you will see that it has been done for the other slices that that comes after so you can do the same thing here and again and again until completing the whole volume you see and if you want to see the 3d rendering of this segmentation you just need to click here and you see now it is not completed because it's for the reason it is looking like this but when you complete the whole volume it will be something very cool that you can see like 3d levers okay if anytime you 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 add uh, more masks or you you edit your segmentation file you can just come here and click on update and it will be updated here okay you see so this is how to do the segmentation in uh, itk snap now let's see how to how to export your file after segmentation so you can click on segmentation and then export uh, yes save segmentation file and then you choose the name the the file format and the directory and after that click on finish and it will be saved
Now let me show you how you can convert from Daikon series into one nifty file and how you can convert one nifty file into Daikon series using 3D slicer. So the first thing that you need to do, so let's import one nifty file for example. So let's be like this, the same thing as we did, then okay. Now we want to import, we want to uh, convert it into Daikon series. So let's click here and search for create a Daikon series. This is a plugin that we can use, so let's choose it. Now let's select the volume, which is this one. Here you can choose the directory where you want to save your uh, series. And then here you can keep it like this image or you can uh, put slice or something. So this will be the name put in the slices. So for example, here, you see that's image 0001 and the same thing. So you, if you change it, it can be, for example, slice 001, etc. So it depends to you or you can keep it by default. So after that, you can just, just click on apply and it will create the DICOM series for you. So this is how you can import, how you can convert one nifty file into DICOM series. Now let me show you how you can convert DICOM series into one nifty file. Before that, let me just close the scene, go to, uh, not here, but here. And now let me just open uh, DICOM series, go here and personal and blocks stock this one and this one here we have the uh, dicom series that we have this is the dicom series now we want to save it as uh, 150 file so you can click on save and check this one and check this one you can choose your name so let's say volume uh, six for example this is the uh, this is the name of the file that we want. Now here you can choose the uh, nifty file that we want, uh, the extension that we want to use in, that we want in our output. So it can be nifty or nifty.gz. Nifty.gz is a nifty file, but uh, a compressed or zipped file. So I prefer always using this one so that I gain time, I gain space in my PC because if you compress it, it will be, it will have less memory. If you take less memory, then if you keep it like Nifty only. So let's choose, for example, Nifty.gz. And here you can choose the directory where you want to save it. And after that, you just need to click on save and the file will be saved. That's how you can save your uh, or the whole DICOM series into one Nifty file. So this was for this. This is all what I can say for this video. And you have any questions about 3D Slicer or ITK Snap, please let me know in the comments or you can email me or WhatsApp me. I will try to answer you as soon as I can. And see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.